I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. Kim Kardashian says criticism of her body makes her want to avoid the limelight. Dang! Have you seen Kim Kardashian lately? She looks huge! Following Jada Pinkett Smith's call for a boycott of the Academy Awards over diversity concerns, her husband Will Smith says he is following her lead. In other words, yes, dear. A team of scholars in Salem, Massachusetts has uncovered a site where 19 people, mostly women, were executed after being accused of witchcraft in 1692. The site is located, ironically, behind a Walgreens, which is full of herbal medicines that would have gotten the pharmacists burned at the stake for witchcraft. The presidential race is now a reality TV primary. According to Time magazine, when Donald Trump wanted to shore up his credentials with conservatives, well, he turned to a former Alaska governor, better known in recent years for shooting caribou on TLC. Trump's Republican rival Ted Cruz responded with a new ad featuring his own TV hunter, Duck Dynasty's Phil Robertson. Even Marco Rubio has campaigned with Rick Harrison of Pawn Stars, the History Channel show about a family-run pawn shop in Las Vegas. Man, just wait until next week when Bernie Sanders comes out with his ad with an endorsement from Snooki. Our personalities stay pretty much the same throughout our lives, from our early childhood years to after we're over the hill, according to a new study. The results show personality traits observed in children as young as first graders are a strong predictor of adult behavior. We remain recognizably the same person, said study author Christopher Nave, a doctoral candidate at the University of California, Riverside. This speaks to the importance of understanding personality because it does follow us wherever we go across time and contexts. Meaning, Charlie Sheen has always been that way, and likely always will be. A kid in Chattanooga, Tennessee, tried to score a snow day by pretending to be a school superintendent on Twitter and direct messaging a local TV station by saying school had been canceled. The station responded, ha ha, nice try, you obviously don't know the password. Now, as a guy who works in radio, uh, I'll tell you that the password it's never all that difficult for snow days. and In fact, it's always something lame like blizzard or whiteout. So try one of those next time, kid. That's your Daily Dose of Weird News. I'm Darren Marlar. You can find more weird news at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, where you can also download the free Daily Dose of Weird News app for Apple or Android. You can find me on Facebook, find other shows I host and produce. You can also find audiobooks that I've narrated and a whole lot more. That's DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. Thank you.